Welcome to Veterinary Physiology Lectures. I am Simpson Soren, Assistant Professor in Veterinary Physiology. Today we will learn the definition and mechanism of parturition. So when we heard the term parturition, the what is parturition actually? These two pictures showing a cow giving birth and this is the act of giving birth and this is also referred to as labor. So what will be the definition of parturition? Parturition is the physiological process by which the pregnant uterus delivers the fetus and fetal membranes from the mother and this is what is the definition of parturition. So the question comes who initiate the parturition? Who is the mastermind behind it? So the initiation of parturition it is by the fetus itself. The fetus, fetus itself decides the time of parturition. So let us discuss the mechanism of parturition. So we have told that fetus is the mastermind for the time of parturition or fetus itself it decides the time of parturition. So how does it begin? So the fetal hypothalamo pituitary axis. These three tissue they have to work in coordination hypothalamus they release the releasing factor it act upon the pituitary then pituitary release the acth adrenocorticotrophic hormone that act upon the adrenal cortex and then in response to that adrenal cortex it release the cortisol fetal cortisol this fetal cortisol it act upon the placenta and now the placenta in response to the fetal cortisol, the placental cell increase the synthesis of 17 hydroxylase and C1720 hydroxylase enzymes. And this enzyme is very important and these are the rate limiting enzyme for converting progesterone into estrogen. Placenta is a temporary endocrine gland and it is very important during the uh, for maintenance of pregnancy or during pregnancy because placenta it produces the progesterone which prevents the uterine motility. So placenta is a temporary endocrine gland and many species that depend upon the uh, placenta for progesterone source for maintenance of pregnancy. Now in response to the fetal cortisol placenta is producing estrogen because of these two rate limiting enzyme. So this hypothalamus pituitary adrenal axis is the mastermind and that sends signal to the uh, through the cortisol to the placenta and now the placenta it is producing estrogen or converting the progesterone into estrogen or pregnenolone into estrogen so when the estrogen concentration increases it goes and stimulate the uterine cell and cause uterine contractility when the uterus contract it release the postaglandin f2 alpha and this postaglandin alpha F2 alpha is a luteolysis. It causes regression of corpus luteum or the destruction of the corpus luteum. We know that corpus luteum is also a major source of progesterone. And many species that depend upon corpus luteum for progesterone source. When the postaglandin is secreted by the uterus, it causes regression of the corpus luteum and therefore progesterone concentration decreases and the estrogen concentration increases estrogen also provide precursor for prostaglandin f2 alpha that is arachidonic acid estrogen also prime the uterus or prepare the uterus for oxytocin it cause development of oxytocin receptor in the uterine cell and when the oxytocin is released from the posterior pituitary it act upon the uterus as well as abdominal muscle and increase their contraction or uterine contractility or abdominal muscle contraction and at the same time relaxin is released from placenta or corpus luteum it cause it is very important it because it cause relaxation of interpubic ligament and associated muscle around the birth canal and this whole mechanism or estrogen which modify the uterine functions it is occurred in the mother and the fetus it stimulate the parturition mechanism or the time of parturition 
So this is what is the mechanism of parturition. So let us summarize. Fetal cortisol, it acts upon the fetal placental unit. In response to that, it producing estrogen. It causes a PGF2 alpha release from the uterus. PGF2 alpha causes regression of corpus luteum. Progesterone concentration decreases significantly. Estrogen also prepares the uterus for oxytocin. Prostaglandins also enhance the uterine contractility by mobilizing sarcoplasmic calcium. And placenta as well as corpus luteum, it releases the relaxin, which causes relaxation of the pelvic ligament. This all this act upon the uterus cause increased uterine contractility. What is Ferguson reflex? It is related to oxytocin release. So when the fetal feet it reaches to the pelvis due to the uterine contraction. So the sensory neurons are stimulated and it carries the information to the hypothalamus telling to the hypothalamus that the fetus is on the way. We need a very strong contraction for successful parturition. So hypothalamus is synthesized oxytocin and transported to the posterior pituitary. Then it is released from the posterior pituitary, act upon the abdominal muscle as well as the uterus and cause a very strong uterine contraction as well as abdominal muscle contraction. As a result of that, it, the fetus or the, there is expulsion of fetus and this is what is the parturition. So here, who is the mastermind? It is the fetus, who is the agent, it is the cortisol, commander is the placenta and executioner is trojan. And this is the mechanism of parturition. Thank you for watching my video. And if you have any queries or any suggestion, please mail me simpson.soren at the rate aau.se.in. Thank you.